I want to highlight the books that you're just finishing right now, because as I've had the chance to read them and go over them, I got really excited. This was a conglomeration of all of the things that I've learned through the course of my life and some things that I haven't learned yet. I think there's so much more underneath the things that you have inside your book, but I love the way that it's broken down into the philosophies and then the insights and then the memorable poems that are brought together to kind of emphasize here is this lesson. Share with me a little bit about your plans for this and how we might use this to learn to love each other better, to learn to live with passion, and then to learn to live with impact and leave a legacy. I think the key is consistency. Every day I have a study class. I have one for myself and I have one for my family here at home where we will take a topic and present it that day. It might be a scriptural thing, or it might be one of the characteristics or something that I've just learned or someone else has learned. I think just continually being engaged in the process of learning and growing and be, I call it becoming the best version of you. Mm -hmm. We all have a version of ourselves and we tend to sell ourselves short a lot of times. Our goal should be to be the very best version of ourselves. And in order to do that, you have to understand what all of the characteristics are that make you up. So the idea of the book is to go through each one of those characteristics. My goal was to have a very small book that people would look at. I know when I was young, I used to enjoy the Reader's Digest. At the bottom of some of the pages, there was a little thought or a quote from somebody, or maybe even a little humorous joke or something. And I would go through the Reader's Digest and look for those first. If there was an article that interested me, I would go to that later. That's why instead of having a lot of examples for everything, I wanted the reader to use their own life as the example. I'm going to tell you what the principle is according to holy writings and what we call the wisdom literature that's been handed down through the ages. That will give you the foundational, eternal, universal laws and principles and the ideas that you will take your own life, your own habits, your own belief system, your own understanding of things and compare it to the foundational principles, then you will adapt and change your life in a very proactive way by conforming your life to those principles instead of your life happening haphazardly.